I'm Ringer, and this is my prospecting journal. Come on, let's go prospecting. Prospecting Journal. Today we're heading out with my neighbor Prospector Phil and we're gonna do some winter prospecting. Prospector Phil and his buddy Al has an interesting and fun setup for winter prospecting. So stay tuned. You're gonna to want to see this. Well we made it out to the gold shop. We have Prospector Phil here. He's setting up the sluice, getting it ready to run some material through it. Uh, he's taking all the air bubbles out of the mat. Uh, we have some pre-dug gravel that uh, Phil and Al got earlier this year. Uh, we actually have some material that we got from, or uh, Phil got from uh, Lake Superior. We'll be running that also today. And uh, we're going to check out the setup that they have in this nicely heated garage. Now this is the king of all winter prospecting setups. You're nice and warm out of the weather, out of the elements, and you're gonna find gold. What more can you ask for? Nice big tub of water, a lot of buckets. So what Phil's running now is some concentrates that him and Al got uh, from earlier this week running uh, some stream material. Uh, it hasn't done a final cleanup on it yet, so he's going to run back to his cleanup system here. See what we get with that. And then we got, I don't know, about 10 buckets worth of stuff sitting here that we can play around with. It's going to be great. Doesn't look to be too fast. Alright, Al. I ran that stuff that we did the other day through here. Oh, okay. yeah. See if there's anything in there. That was all the bales there. Oh, okay. Oh, that was that last one that was going to Yeah, there's two, two pieces there. Three, here's another one. So we get an angle here where the light's not glaring on it. Can you see them? One, see the one. two, three. Everybody, welcome to another episode of Freedom Prospecting. My name is Phil. I live in North Central Wisconsin. I prospect for gold. Today we're in the gold shop here, and we're going to run some tests on some uh, cleanup mats. We got a little bit of beach sand from Lake Superior with some gold in it, and we're going to do a couple testing uh, tests here on cleanup mats. We got the Michael Dream mat first, and uh, we're going to do that. And then I got something else I want to try out. And we're going to test our tailings because that's the most important thing. If you've got gold in your tailings, you want to catch most of it. So, I'm going to just turn around and show you what we're doing here.
So what Phil's running now is some Lake Superior beach sand that he got from a friend of his or a friend of Al's. And we're running it across two micro dream mats. Uh, both of them are 16 inches long. And we're gonna try to see if we can get the majority of the gold with just uh, running it through one time. Uh, usually if you just have one mat, you gotta run the material multiple times to uh, make sure you capture most of the gold out of it. You notice how dark that sand is. That's all concentrated black beach sands from Lake Superior. And this is our host, Al. This is his gold cave setup. Oh. <laughs> He's kind enough to uh, allow me to come out here and enjoy this experience with him and Phil. Anytime. The more the merrier. <laughs> so Phil is telling me that at one point you didn't think anybody else around here did this. No, no. <laughs> My wife before she passed away told me that uh, find someone that uh, you know, we go prospecting with because we plan on going up to uh, Superior. That was our goal this fall, and then of course she passed away. Because I said to her, I said, where am I going to find someone around in Wisconsin that prospects? <laughs> Lo and behold, Bill shows up <laughs> buying my truck. That's how that all happened. All right, looks like Phil finished running all the Superior Black Sands. We're running it into a catch bin here so we can uh, pan that out or run that through the miller tables just to see if uh, what we missed running it through the system the first time. Now, this is all concentrated and I do not believe that it was ever gone through before so there should be plenty of gold in it. Right. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's way too much to put on the miller table. You can see some of the black sands got caught underneath the mat, so we didn't have a connected system. One long mat, it was two separate short mats, so you're gonna have some underflow. Phil is going to reset the uh, Seuss box up and run that material again. And uh, just the tailings. Just the tailings to uh, see if how much gold that we missed or if we captured it all or test out, see how the system works. I've never dreamt there's that many gold miners around here. <laughs> Not at all. This is from the tailings, right? Yep. Well, not too bad. Only three, maybe four pieces. This one's painful, though. And it's just a... Uh, Tailing, so we should see seven times that amount per teaspoon from our original run. At least that's the hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I 
pieces. Two pieces. Three. Center. One up there. Two of them up there. That was very tiny. Not too bad. Those are some bigger pieces. See, I took my jacket and stuff off. We're inside this nicely heated garage. Thanks to Al for providing it. Uh, in the background, Phil is running our third run of tailings over the top of the miller table. Uh, at this point, we've done three separate runs of the tailings. We did find gold in the first two reruns of the material. Uh, the third run pretty much cleaned it all out. He's finding a piece here and there, but other than that, uh, we got most of it, and it did take three runs of that Superior Beach Sand over our uh, cleanup sluices to uh, get it cleaned out. Uh, we still haven't run the, the original run through, so we should be finding some more gold in that. And uh, when we get uh, that process through, we'll show you what we have at the end. All right, this is the first tablespoon of the original run of the material from the uh, Lake Superior Beach Sand. There's a lot of gold showing up on the Miller table. Again, this is just the first spoonful. And we got about three more spoonfuls to run through yet. So, captured a lot of the gold the first time around. There you are the gold right sitting right on top of the black sand there's more table processes that'll slowly drop down to the bed of the table and get stuck there this is the second spoonful that we dumped on there after every spoonful Phil pushes us up into the catch hole over there so this is all fresh gold, this isn't uh, accumulation. So here's all the gold we got from that little bit of Lake Superior Beach sand. You got a nice little smile in the pan growing there. We'll get that sucked up in a snuffer bottle and we'll move on to the next bunch of sand that we got sitting here and process that. All right, I want to give special thanks to my good friend, Prospector Phil from Freedom Prospecting, who invited me out to his friend Al's place to uh, check out his gold shop and to assist them in processing some material that they had previously dug and gone over through some uh, Lake Superior beach sand and uh, watched how they did a full clean up of the material all the way down to the final gold recovery. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment and click the bell icon so you can receive notifications on future videos. Until then, I'm Ringer and this is my prospecting journal.